I messed up. I now that you're on film, you messed up. No, so so you, you haven't violated any of my so, rights. No, the sir. first thing you said to me coming here was, so, is sir. that my baby mama or my girlfriend? Sir, then he so started raising his voice at me. From North Bay. Paul. Join the U.S. Corrupt Cops YouTube channel to watch and share videos exposing corruption within the police force. Subscribe to stay updated on crucial messages, and be sure to like and share to spread the word. Stand with us against police corruption and support justice. Your contribution is a vital part of making a difference. Join us today. What up, everybody? JMA here, and guess what? We found a deputy all man. over the road. Look at this guy. I'm trying to come around this curve here. Look at this guy, man. He is just everywhere. In the middle of the lane. There's some cars coming up ahead of here, and he just... Like Swerving Irvin, look out. Big shout out to James Madison and Audits for their keen analysis skills. Make sure to give them a follow. James caught a sheriff's deputy driving in a highly reckless and suspicious manner. Check this out. There he goes again down the residential area here, just right in the middle of the road. I hope he's okay. Now he's drunk. What's going on here? Car's not coming down. This guy's all over the road. We catch wind of a fellow passenger in the vehicle expressing suspicion about the deputy possibly driving under the influence, a truly warranted concern. This suspicion arises after witnessing the deputy navigating through a residential neighborhood with the same reckless disregard we've observed previously. And then, when James Madison confronts the deputy regarding their perilous behavior, Things take a compelling turn. Oh shoot, that's your car? That's your car out here? This one here. Deputy, Deputy Cole. No, the, the, what, the, the car, yeah. I mean, it's every, all over the road back there. Everything all right? I was good. You were good. I got you on video. Okay. You been drinking or anything like that? Nope. You mind if I check? Let's check some nice stagmas. No, I'm not, this is not a joking matter. You were all over the road, Deputy Cole. Sure. You don't believe me? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Naturally, the moment Deputy Cole faced consequences for his deeds, he nonchalantly chuckled and openly showed contempt for James Madison's audits as he swaggered into the sanctuary of the station. How you doing today? I got your name and badge number? Okay, one more time. Badge number? 2913? Hey, nothing. I was just wondering uh, what we got going on. Just waiting for radio calls. Waiting for radio call yeah. On public property or private property? In the district of the 35th. Um, on private property, right? Right? You know you're not supposed to be sitting here, right? Okay, do you work here? You know you're not supposed to be sitting here, right? You know, technically, you know, you're trespassing. This Philly cop's about to undergo a citizen scrutiny as part of a police checkup. Okay, so you don't need to be here. Secondly, is that a department issue phone you're on? What are you getting at, man? Um, you're sitting on private property. Oh, what's that? You got something in the car I need to know about? Can I see your hands? Can you put your hands where I can see them, please? Can you put your hands where I can see them, please? Can, I, can you put your hands where I can see them? Thank you. Now, let me ask, I'm gonna ask you a real quick question. You out here? Huh? A police report for what? Do you need police service? Uh, no. I just need you to get off private property and not sit here no more. The individual behind this YouTube channel in Philadelphia is well-versed in both the law and their personal rights. Their commitment to delivering content is tethered to an unwavering accountability, knowing the legal boundaries and asserting their own freedoms while doing so. On the night of May 10th, 2020, the Suicide City Police Department got a call from North Bay Medical Center about someone possibly drinking nail polish remover. Officers Tiffany Konoma and Cody Marler quickly headed to the home of Sergeant Syra Hawkins, a military veteran living in Suicide City, California, in response to the urgent situation. Hello. Hey. I don't know who that is. You know who that is? No. Who's your, uh, your girlfriend or your baby mama? 
Kitty right here. First of all, that's my wife, Marvin. Okay. Marvin. Okay. And who? Who are y'all looking for? One or two. Can you go with the mother's Wait, name? What's the problem? So we're here on a welfare check. We have to oh, hang on. Why? Because we received a call from North Bay for the incident that occurred earlier. What incident? Cody. Look, look right there. Who's being investigated? If y'all investigate. Right there. Nine years, U.S. Army. Now, what's the problem? Okay. What's your first name? I don't have to identify myself to you, do I? Am I under investigation? You want to no. tell me what's going on? One of the can you come the address? Can you come out here? No, she can't come out there. Y'all need to tell me what's going on. This is my house. We don't, don't. Copy. They're advising that this is not the right address. Hi, right, ma'am. What's your ma'am? Y'all violating my rights right now. Actually, we're not, dude. Yes, you are, because no, you're not, not telling me no, okay. who that is okay. as a citizen. Okay, listen to me, dude. We're not violating your rights. You are. How? Because you, Wait, which, you, which right? You, which, you, you, which civil right are we violating? Why are you raising your We're not violating why anything, raising okay? Why is he raising so we are, we are here on are a welfare check. I can go inside my We house. are here on a welfare check. Sergeant Hawkins is saying the cops are violating his rights by being on his porch, claiming it's an invasion of his home's privacy. The law considers the area around a home, like the porch, as protected. While cops can approach and ask questions without a warrant, they can't go beyond normal behavior or search without permission. The situation suggests that although the initial knock on the door might be okay, approaching and knocking on the front window needs further examination. I don't know what that means. Stop talking, let me talk. I don't have Over to stop a child talking. That okay. right. that Why is he I don't like to, I don't like it. He's raising his voice at me right now. Or nail polish. Okay. Okay, so we've we got here, here. Your baby's right on, there. Okay, I'm, your wife. I'm gonna talk to you. First of all, you came to my house and say, is that my girlfriend okay. or my baby mama? That's my wife. So okay. that's disrespectful starting okay. off. All right, sir. So That was disrespectful starting off. And, okay, and then I he's understand. raising his voice at me. Okay, I okay. understand. So now I can raise my so voice, look. right? No, you can eat What's his problem? Okay, okay. Nah, I need your badge numbers. I'm sorry. That's fine. I'll I'm give sorry. you my badge number. But so the reason we're here is now to make sure somebody is okay. Now you're telling me the reason after you told me to eat it, sir. So you told me to eat it, right? I messed up. I apologize. Now that you on film, you messed up. No, so so you, you haven't violated any of my so, rights. No, the sir. first thing you said to me coming here was, so, is sir. that my baby mama or my girlfriend? Sir, then he so started raising his voice at me. From North Bay. Pause. I need your name and your badge number. Officer Conma, 107. Thank you. I need you your see? name and your badge Officer number. Officer Waller, 107. And, and she's at my window. I told you not to go to my window. Hi. Close the blinds. Do you have a 14-year-old son? Close the blinds. Hold on, sir, sir. Close the blinds. Sir, do you have a 14-year-old son? Close the blinds. Close the blinds. I'm not going in the house. Are your Close children the blinds. okay, ma'am? Are your children okay? Okay. okay. Do they look okay, guy? He's asking if my North children are okay. Oh. Who the is that? Okay. What are you talking okay. about? We're, we're going to leave now. Give me one Why? Because I got to eat. That's why you leaving we're, now? We're going to leave now. Who my family leave. was here all day. We had a good day. You're here telling me to eat it. It is. I don't know who the 14 year old is. Okay. I don't Okay. I took that nine years in the military. Okay, we you told me to eat it. Okay. So good. Okay, thank you for second. telling me to eat it. Please. After okay. I served Walk you away. for nine years, you. Parlor. I, 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 well. I don't give okay. You are probably a piece of. <laughs> if you serve and you tell okay. people to eat you probably was a piece of. All right. You can get the out of here. That's okay. what you can do, Marlar. You. Okay, let me explain because we may you have said been. You told me to can I, can I explain to you? Officer Marler cussed out Sergeant Hawkins, and things quickly got more intense. Sergeant Hawkins, understandably mad, fired back with a bunch of curse words. Even though what Officer Marlar did wasn't a crime, it definitely went against Policy 323 of the Suicide City Police Department, which says officers can't disrespect the public, use offensive language on duty, or behave badly. Go to North Bay today? What the is that? Get in the house! What what are y'all talking about? Nobody knows what y'all are talking about. Well, you're not letting me explain. You never explained. You started asking questions. He said, is that my girlfriend about maybe mama? Okay. I apologize for that. Okay. I'm here to clarify. So it may have been a miscommunication between North Bay and our dispatch. So we got a call that we need to... Okay. A three-year-old was brought into the hospital because she ingested nail polish, remember? Okay. We don't know anything about okay. any of that. And that is absolutely fine. So this just I got know, a little out of hand. But you don't come to somebody's house and say, 
If that's your baby, I'm your girlfriend. You right, and I, am, I completely understand you're that. You're supposed to be professional. It was un, I'm trying my best to be professional. And, if, and, it, and it, you're, you're doing fine. But okay. that guy, I don't know what side of the bed he woke up on. Had Put yourself in my shoes. Two cops knock on your door. Boom, boom, boom. I'm in there having a good time with my wife okay. of five years. They are who, I, who I have now okay. scared. Okay. You, you probably scared them. They don't know Officer Friendly yet. You knocking on my window. All right. You Officer Kanama asked Officer Marler to step aside and filled in Sergeant Hawkins about a welfare check they were supposed to carry out at the sergeant's residence, but it seemed they got sent to the wrong place. Welfare checks are when the police check on someone's well-being without necessarily investigating a crime. Oh. Y'all want me to, like, quote what statute you guys are violating? I'm not one of those people, but I'm pretty sure I can go on Google and see if We have every legal, right to be here to check on somebody. And you have the right to Google us and make sure. So you okay. have the right to be here and check on somebody, right? Yes. Did I have to come out my door? You did not. We needed exactly. to come check on exactly. the female. Okay, I'm and leaving now, you, sir. I, I gave you, I gave you okay. In this situation, Officer Marler acted poorly during an encounter with Sergeant Hawkins, which upset Hawkins. Hawkins posted a video of the incident on YouTube, leading to public outrage. The police department responded with a statement acknowledging the officer's wrongdoing, expressing zero tolerance for such behavior, and Chief Aaron Roth promising to learn from the incident. Let's stand up and confront corruption within law enforcement. Subscribe, like, and share the video on the U.S. Corrupt Cops YouTube channel to spread the message and encourage direct opposition to corruption. Our actions are the key to unlocking the door to justice.